Well, hey everybody, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So it's the end of an era. I'm uh, packing up the little pop-up camper that I bought along the side of the road for $2,500. I lived in it for 18 months, summer and winter in here in Texas. Let's see, I tell you, that's it. It's Spartan living to live in a little pop-up camper. So, But I have a house now that uh, I'm framed in. It's just me. I, it still needs work. But in the fall, when it cools down, that's when I can do construction work, right? So I've been clearing land and doing all the summer stuff. During the summer, I like to do outdoor things. And, and I have to mow anyway, or else the weeds would run away. But I got logging done. I built a road this year. I rebuilt the driveway. Dug a bigger stock tank that still went dry, but it held water until this point. But uh, here it is heading into November, still in the high 90s. Uh, I'm dying here. But uh, my nephew said, oh, he wants that thing. So it's, I, I was always going to sell it. So, uh, you know, I, as a person that's off grid, I'm a little bit, I'm an extrovert. But I, do, I need my uh, personal space to recharge. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to list it on Craigslist and then have strangers come and insult me and, you know, tell, tell me this or that. Listen, it's a 2014 pop-up camper that I've lived in and another dude lived in and now my nephew will lived in. Uh, but the refrigerator's never been used. The stove's never been used. It's in pretty good shape on the inside. Really dusty now. Needs a... a total cleaning but uh it looks nice anyway so he's gonna come tomorrow and help me move it out from under the trees uh you know it actually doesn't leak that tarp was more for weatherizing it when i was doing air conditioning uh but listen I, i'm happy to say goodbye to it the next phase of my house is upon me i finished the log yard and i've got all the logs that i i I uh, think I need to start there. I got to do the sawmill. There's work that I need to do. Uh, I'm running about nine months behind from my project plan, but I could not have ima uh, estimated um, what a different the 20 year old me is from now. I, I used to be able to work until two in the morning and I can't anymore. I've got a full time job anyway. And uh, by the time it gets evening and whatnot, I only have between five o'clock and sunset. And uh, if I popped on lights and tried to work in the dark, I just get hurt, and um, I, which I've tried, and I get hurt. <laughs> so anyway, I've got to uh, reimagine my timeline based on the realities of uh, me being an older guy. Like I say, I, this is my retirement home, so I got to respect me, my limitations. But uh, getting rid of that pop-up camper is a good timing. Because uh, as I go around and I earth bag this thing and as I do the roof and as I do the outside and, and tie the whole house together as one unit instead of two shipping, shipping containers, that's in the way. And uh, like I said, I didn't really, I mean, I didn't really want to put it up on Craigslist. Now, I sold it to my nephew for the same price I bought it, and I stole it. So, uh, you know, that it was it's really in very good condition. So it's worth more than that. So I feel good passing along the road. Uh, tomorrow he's going to come uh, and help me move it and uh, get it around. Uh, this uh, is my outdoor kitchen, and uh, um, I might set that up a little more formally uh, with the idea that I'm, I'll probably have an outdoor kitchen forever here in Texas. I really like them. So let's walk around the little pop-up camper before I say goodbye to it. And we'll just take a real quick look at it. And then tomorrow we'll get it pulled out. And uh, Scott wants to shoot a little video of him doing it so, for his channel. So I'm all for that. Let's walk around. So I believe it's a 2014 Coleman Fleetwood. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, you know, the screens are getting little little holes and tears in it. The plastic's looking bad. It, it's dirty after 18 months of... Uh, me bachelor in it. Um, the storms and hurricanes have wrecked my canopy here. That's not part of it. This is uh, just a pop-up camper. Uh, let's see what's going on. Oh, it's too dark for me to even video in here. Well, that's good. That's good. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> let's see. What am I doing tonight? Well, I'm I'm pre-cleaning cleaning it you know i'm getting out all the stuff that i stored in there um getting ready to get it off blocks so uh it's up on blocks it's it's not leveled i put it at a little angle so the water would run off the top uh i didn't notice you know as i sleep and it's not so angled that i don't like it 
but there's the blocks. So the full two years, it hasn't really, even though those tires look buried in the ground, they're not. They're just hanging there off the suspension. So I think we'll get off of it. Uh, I've never charged a water tank. That's something I've never done. So that's uh, good. The electrical system was working. So this will be a nice little pop-up camper. So I, I, I wanted to, uh, you know, I debated trying to save it for me for when I'm done building a house for vacationing. Uh, but I have to be honest with the construction and say, you know, Steve, you're two or three years away from being able to take a relaxing vacation on the beach with the camper. Here in Texas, the po uh, politicians haven't yet taken away the beaches and given them to the rich people. So you could still pull a camper to the beach and park on the beaches in Texas and I don't know the day they try I say we get serious and we do a whole uh, uh, you know insurrection thing here in Texas the day they try to take away our uh, public beaches and they're working on it give them to the rich come on now you know what I mean but uh, anyway so if I just kept this thing around all that would happen is uh, rats and mice would get in it and bees would get in it and it slowly decay until it was uh you know just and you've seen them all you've seen them on craigslist where somebody holds on to a thing and holds on and holds on and 20 years too late post it up and and you know it's it, it not even worth anybody coming to get it you know it's just a problem but this thing is it, it's it's really nice it's nice on the outside nice on the inside uh so i'm giving up well not giving away i sold it for what i bought it so i'm breaking even and uh tomorrow we'll set up when uh, when uh, scott gets here and franz i suppose is going to help him and uh i'm going to get the fork truck on the uh the uh pick up the two inch ball on the front of the forks and we'll get it out of there and get it around and finish cleaning it but uh a lot of fun you know uh you've got to learn as you're building to let go there's a time to gather stones together and a time to throw them apart and a time to hold on to a pop-up camper and a time to let it go and this is perfect timing for me and i'm looking forward to it um, in addition if i don't have a fallback like the little pop-up camper i gotta get the house done right i gotta it'll all be that it'll be the only thing i have we'll see you give him a break hi boys he doesn't need to be pushed around like you're a push toy and that's why he hides on you Hi, Hank. All right, everybody. So this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. I've got uh, Cowboy uh, Scott out here, and uh, I don't know, Franz, uh, uh, Eagle Hat Franz <laughs> out here. They're going to help uh, move uh, this thing. And did you want to take your own video? Later. Later. Okay. And Scott will yeah. put up his own video. I'll link it eventually and drive some traffic there so y'all can meet Scott. So he does poetry, all kinds of stuff. Multi-dimensional gentleman right there. All right, so, but uh, this thing's up on blocks. And see this horse, he's, he gets nosy, and now he's, he's gonna knock down my uh, camera. And this camera has already uh, been knocked down by him a couple of times. He is super curious. I like that about him, but it's also destructive. He's all up on you. He really is all up on you. Anyway, uh, it messes with the focus. So this is the first time we've had a mist and any moisture, but it's a mist that's coming down. I think a fog maybe. So I'm going to guess in 60 or 90 days. It is dry, dry, y'all. But anyway, we're going to work on this thing. I'm going to leave you run over here. I might put you up against uh, the Connex so the horse can't knock you down. And then I'll come back. We'll do a stock mo stop motion, but I'll talk with the boys on what we need to get done here. And did I even have the power on? I did. Good. All right, so here's the deal. So this thing will just take it. It's super heavy. In fact, you and I might be able to move it now. Let's try to pull it out. I put it in here with the with the uh, thing. And uh, we'll put it uh, right over there for now. Oh, man. Well, you got some good legs on that. Oh. Right here we'll do. Right. Okay. So I'm going to rebuild the kitchen. Originally I was thinking of doing it underneath that tree, but I decided if people come and go, that'll be way more dusty than this. I think I'll leave it here. But I'll square up the uh, pallets, get the awning over it. Uh, you and I will do the awning clip thing I did to get the new tarp over the top. Um, oh, here's one. 
Last night when I was messing on it, a broadband copperhead went underneath one of them pallets. I kid you not, gentlemen. You oh, both wow. got boots? Or yeah, we... yeah. All right. If, he uh, has a pig leg. You see him? <laughs> Hold on. I got to talk here. Serious stuff. <laughs> if you see him, um, I do like him, but he's not catchable. He's super fast. Shovel or something, yeah. right? He's big enough to kill a chicken. Might be big enough to kill a horse. Wow. And that's the fifth one this year. Wow. So, uh, you know what they look like? They're yeah, broadband yeah. copperheads. Yeah. They're okay. real, like a butter Creamy, stock. they're really hard to see. Uh, I mean... I've killed, he, killed two or three of them. Anyway, I just don't want any, anyone hurt here today. Yeah, um, okay. And, um... I, I got a lot done. Yeah. <laughs> uh, come on, come on. Hey, don't trust this horse not to kick you guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, he, uh, then we're putting this stuff in. Yeah, I'll change where the camera is. Let's take a minute. Do that. And then I'll, I'll, I don't know, you'll be coming and going. Maybe I'll put a stop motion on here so you can, uh, right, so people can see you coming and going. I hate to give you that busy work, but I just didn't get anything done. Scott, you can hobble up here, Franz. I don't really particularly want you to hobble up. And uh, we'll take a look at where we want to put all that crap. All right, good luck, gentlemen. All right. I'll go ahead and give them a little treat so they get out of your hair. See how persistent he is? He ain't going nowhere. I'll put you on stop motion. I broke into that bin yesterday, even though it was still latched. Yeah, I saw but, the video. And you lost Hank for a while. Yeah, <laughs> Hank gets tired of being bullied and he goes and hides. But yeah, I've I've seen Blaze freak out, but he is in full blown mode. Uh, uh, he's a powerful great. animal, and it was just fun to watch him. But yeah, if this is settling down. It's just a little moon now. But man, I, I put hydrocodone on it all day long. Oh, wow. It hurt like heck. You know the mower or weavers. I've never yeah. been bit by one. They're pacifists. Huh. But when I went through that RV, I, the whole web and all in oh, him. Oh, man. And he went, went through that windscreen, got stuck on me, and now he's angry. And I'm the thing he has to punish. <laughs> Please, stop it. All right, everybody, so it was super congested and awfully busy, so if I don't record when people can get hurt, so, uh, but we got it out. Let me finish wrapping this up. What Scott's gonna do is uh, remove all the old stuff I've got attached to it, take some measurements, but uh, that's where I pulled it out of it, and that will still need to be cleaned up. But my goal is to get this all looking better, right, you know, and, uh, I really liked having that pop-up camper, but it's time has come to, to move on down the road. Let me park it, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll pull it out a little bit more. All right, I'm going to move. Okay. I'm moving.
you know, I, I'm going to do a little Marie kondo here for just a second because uh, I'm very, very grateful for this little pop-up. Now, I can't explain why I lived in it comfortably for, I don't know, 18 months. Uh, certain Spartan and a pop-up is a poor choice to live in. It, it gets to get an RV, uh, in my opinion. But this little pop-up camper did it. It still looks pretty good. The stove's still new. The refrigerator, I mean, you know, unused. Uh, factory new. So, uh, but it served me really well. And uh, I enjoyed my time into it. I've got to admit, uh, laughing and joking aside about, you know, I could reach and there's the, the library and there's the living room and, you know, uh, but I enjoyed it, and um, I don't know. Spartan, sometimes it's nice to get back. I watch these kids do their little, you know, their van life where they live small and, and go on adventures. If you can handle it, I think that's a fine way to live, I've got to admit. Uh, life is short, as what I've learned, and the only regrets I have are the regrets of things I did not do. So uh, do more. <laughs> It would be my advice to the younger self. Do more, you know. <laughs> Do more. All right, so looky here. Scott got the lid put down and put it all together. And he's pretty excited about putting it at his place and trying to live in it. And, you know, when it gets cold down to, you know, zero degrees here in Texas, he's going to have to run. And uh, uh, But that AC worked pretty good. So in the heat, it's not half bad. But in, in the cold, this was a little bit... Uh, farewell I sold it for what I paid for it to the dollar now that's friends and family price if y'all would have asked me I would have said three or four grand but uh, you know for Scott I, I paid 2500 and uh, I sold it for 2500 so that's a darn good deal if you ask me for a little place uh, squatter place to live and this was a good find and I'm, I'm happy to have lived there so fare thee well little Fleetwood Coleman I enjoyed you much